All right, so now we're actually inside the pastoral training facility. You can see it's fairly well built. Uh, nice heavy duty structure. Got a tractor back over here. Roof's almost all the way on, not quite. Plenty of clay tires. He's about to tell us something, so I'll let you listen in. Alright guys, so this is our uh, pastoral conference center. Um, some of you may have heard of the concept of indigenous mobilization, which is empowering the, uh, the local culture to, um, to help Haiti. So um, this is just a, a further advancement of that. Um, we want to build up local um, pastors to be able to uh, go out throughout Haiti um, and um, reach uh, Haiti for Christ. So we actually um, can hold 500 people in this conference center. Um, it's obviously not finished yet, but um, it's hopefully going to be finished within uh, the year. Um, so you can kind of see the division um, where it kind of ends with this, um, these bars right here. But on the other side of that is actually going to be a cafeteria, which is going to serve um, not only the conference center, but um, going to serve the entire um, campus as well, um, besides the students. So our campus holds um, 200 um, that, or not families, 200 people who want to come um, on teams. And um, that's a little bit more than our other campus, which only holds 180. So um, there's different reasons why people would come here. Um, some might be uh, because they want to be closer to a certain village that they're going out to, or um, they might just have a bigger team um, and just want to stay here instead. Um, closer also, to the ocean. Huh, say that again? <laughs> they want to be closer to the ocean. <laughs> well, actually, uh, that's actually kind of funny. Uh, the ocean actually is, right now, we haven't set up our barriers yet. Yeah. Um, so um, all the trash that is dumped into the ocean from Port-au-Prince actually collects on our beaches right here. So um, our hope is to eventually build um, barriers that um, will go out, um, jetties I guess that they are, um, and they'll um, block all the trash and the rubble and um, we'll be able to actually uh, bring in sand and um, build uh, beachside bungalows um, for people to stay at. Um, so. Um, that is actually um, part of the concept of vague emission. Um, that's, don't look that word up in the dictionary, that's a made up word, but um, we are going to, uh, so there's a lot of families that um, have to decide between either doing a mission trip or going on vacation, because um, both can be very expensive, but um, we're gonna give people the option of doing both at the same time. So maybe you'll have um, three days at the beach and then three days out in the villages um, serving the community. So um, I'm not sure exactly what the timetable is on when that, um, will come about, but um, I know plans for that are in the works. Um, we also passed this villa back here. Uh, that is the first of four villas um, that are um, planned to be built. Um, that was built a couple of years ago, um, and uh, different non-government organizations and um, different uh, churches will come and stay there and um, just kind of survey our campus and um, see how they want to help support. Um, we have uh, buildings similar to that at Main Campus. Uh, you may have seen the yellow building at the very top of the hill at Main Campus. Um, that's very similar to that. Um, so, yeah. They told us last year too that the jetties going out into the ocean would probably help block some of the mud and they were gonna try to bring the blueness of that water out there all the way up to the shore. So that yeah. not just trash, but that too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. 